the Viltrox Mark II. This little lens, well, it's not really little, but this lens, can you believe it's cheaper than the Sony FE85? Yeah, this little dude, I got him for about $300 compared to the FE85, which is at $548. This little lens, well, cheap lens, does the same that the FE85 millimeter can do. And, you know, it matches it despite the $200 price difference. So let's talk about it. Now, for this video, I'm gonna switch lenses and I'm gonna use this 85 to record, you know, so we can get rid of that FE 50 millimeter lens that it's that sound that it's making right now as it's trying to focus on my eyeball. So yeah, let's switch to it right now. Oh. I'm not sure if the camera is in focus, but yeah, we've switched now to the Viltrox. As you can see, it doesn't make any noise when it's trying to focus. So this, for video, I would recommend it if you're going to use it for stills, not for moving around because then, you know, that creates a lot of shake. So let's try out and test out the focus shift. So, focus on you see, no noise. No noise at all. Let me try something else. Got my Wheel of Time book. You see, no noise is made. When taking out portrait photos, which is what I do, it catches the eye almost immediately and it doesn't let go at all. Unless you raise the aperture up by a bit, you know, like let's say about five or seven, then it has some trouble trying to catch on. The highest aperture you can go on this one is 1.8, just like my FE, which I don't know where I, but you know, yeah, just like the 50 millimeter FE that I use to record these videos. The image quality, how is the image quality? That you guys can see from these photos I'm showing right now, the image quality is pretty sharp. It's pretty sharp for the price you're getting. It's no 50 millimeter G Master by any means or any 35 Sigma art. So no, this is it's still sharp. This is a really good starter portrait lens to get your portrait started, get a significant boost in your quality, or just to start out like really, really, really good. You know, start out with a bang, get in there. <laughs> Let's talk about the weight of this lens. The weight is pretty hefty. I'm gonna put the weight right here. That's how much it weighs, but when you carry it with your camera, then it's not that bad. It is heavier than a normal lens, but you know, what can you do? But it's not as heavy as, you know, those big lenses, but it's okay. It's an okay weight. You just have to get used to it. Now, would I recommend it? Yes, I would extremely recommend it. If you're starting out, if you have the money, then I'd say go for, I don't know, I can't recommend anything else because you know this, this will get the job done and it will serve you for as long as it can, you know, because you know, uh, getting other expensive lenses, it's not gonna exactly boost your skill, but with this lens, if you get good with it, then no one's going to notice that it's $300, you know, or 400 or whatever the price is right now, but yeah. I would extremely recommend it. <laughs> All right, so if you guys really like this video, you know, give it a like, share it, comment something, and you know, subscribe, stay tuned for more stuff. If you guys do tend to get the lens and you know, use the hashtag daring shots and you know, I would like to check out what you end up posting. You know, I would really wanna give you a thumbs up and you know, start this little daring shots community to get stuff done. So, I'm probably gonna upload this video before I do my Lightroom Classic tutorial. So, stay tuned for that, in which I teach you how to do my style of editing, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for that. That's it, see you.